Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we are gonna talk about Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. Now, I don't know why the heck they feel as though they have to keep shoving down this relationship down our throats, like literally shoving it down. Timothy Chalamet, Kylie Jenner making out here. Timothy Chalamet, Kylie Jenner making out there. Rumors are Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner planning having kids. Kylie Jenner pregnant for Timothy Chalamet. You know, all of that jazz. The media just keeps shoving it down our throats. Okay, Chris Jenner, we get it, we get it. Your daughter has left Travis Scott. But honestly, if we're really looking back into a lot of things, like what he has shared we can see that timothy um not timothy sorry what kylie and travis they were over like even before they began because the moment that chris jenner did not want to have travis scott in the delivery room for his first child the relationship practically never started even before then and at that point it had solidified for travis that that family is not a family for him to stay in because he will never be truly a man in that family. And if you guys remember when it was Chicago's birthday party and he didn't know where the party was keeping and he had to reach out to Travis and he said something in that moment where he said that you baby mamas want to keep us out of our kid's life. He has one baby mother. Why would they say baby mamas? You baby mamas want to keep us out of our kids' lives and it's not going to happen. Isn't it given the sense that, you know, he was having a little conversation there with Travis Scott and Travis Scott was having some challenges there as well. And that was two years ago, if you guys remember, that was in around, I forgot when it, it was um, Chicago's birthday, but it was after Kim fell for legal separation. Um, I think it was back in 20, February of 2021. So we can tell that based on some details here and there that Travis and Kylie really didn't have a relationship. You know, when you meet someone and something happened, you get pregnant, but then you try to make it work. But Travis could not make it work because, you know, people, they have the cheating allegation and all of that. But if you notice... Every time we see Travis and Kylie, it seems as though, you know, Travis didn't feel like a man in that relationship when he was around the family. If you look at Travis and Kylie on the red carpet, you could see that he was enjoying those moments. And it's not because he was with Kylie, because Travis is really popular as a rap artist. So he doesn't need any clout from Kylie, right? So... I don't know if, if Kylie thinks that Travis is strong upon her. And if he is, you know, this is not how you go about proving to a man that you no longer want him. Because if anything, your body language here is saying that, you know, I am still obsessed with you. And if you don't want me, I'm just going to drive you crazy, me and my new lover. But Travis knows this game because it's a game that he wants you to play. So Travis is there laughing at Kylie and Timothy Chalamet as well. And Travis knows what's next is going to happen right here. And when I look at a clip from TMC and um, where it has Kylie behind Travis and the manner in which, you know, Kylie was behind Timothy, sorry, and the manner in which Kylie was groping Timothy practically and how, you know, when you look at all the clips, you can definitely see that Kylie is the man in this relationship and she likes that there is a relationship that she has complete power and control 
you know, over. And as such, this is going to result in Kylie getting pregnant really soon because she's going to be so in love. She's going to feel as though, you know, she's floating above the clouds. And as such, it's going to get her pregnant really soon. Not if, but, or maybe. And I believe that she's going to pour a lot into this guy. She's going to spend a lot on him and it's not going to be a problem to her because she's genuinely a kind person. She's genuinely a gifting person. So she's going to enjoy gifting him and he's going to enjoy receiving those gifts and feeling really valuable to Kylie. But he's always going to cheat on her. But Kylie's going to look at, you know, the mere fact that, you know, he is so kind and so caring and loving towards her, Kylie's going to always use that to forgive him until she gets tired of being cheated on. Then she's going to give up the relationship. That is just in my estimation. And all the little clips that I've been looking at with Kylie's body language, she's very much sexually and highly sexually attracted to him. And she feels her masculine energy, you know, very strong with him. Her masculine, you know, energy is very dominant with this guy. And when I say masculine energy, I'm not talking about Kylie is a man. If you know, everyone has both energy, but Kylie's sense of power and control is going to truly come out with this guy, which is going to give her the confidence that she has been searching for. And that is what is going to make her feel as though she's right at home. She has made the best choice. Now, let's talk about what happened yesterday, because Kylie and Timothy Chalamet, they, are, they were at the U.S. Open yesterday and the media is all over it. They're saying that Kylie and Timothy are feeling the love at the U.S. Open. But what I noticed again was the need for the media to see them. Like Timothy, um, Kylie was whispering something to Timothy. And Timothy raised his cap and like he was giving a signal again. You know, yes, we're here. Here we are. And then they leaned in for a kiss. You could see where... Um, she Kylie had her hands wrapped around um Timothy again, which is given the sense that she's taking that lead. If you notice how Kylie's hands are positioned versus how Timothy's and is positioned, Kylie is ensuring that Trav um I keep saying Travis Timothy Chalamet is all the way into her because she wants him to be deeply into her as she is into him because she has more of the affection going on. So, I mean, we're going to see um, Kylie even giving this guy her private jet to travel, you know, to other countries. If you look at her body language, it is just saying that she's completely smitten. She never knew that she would have um, a guy that is so popular who is not, you know, outside of the rap category because it has always been a rapper now this guy is a a-list movie actor and it's fair to call him a a-list movie actor because he has done really well as an actor and um she is loving that she's loving the publicity she's loving the accolades that he has so she's enjoying all of that accolade that comes with him and this also ensures that Kylie would be on a lot more red carpet events, which is a major PR move for her because the more red carpet events she's invited to, the more it will make her brand, you know, be seen, be heard. And it's going to take her into a new category and, you know, exactly as Chris Jenner would like. So they're going to be really nice to this guy. They're going to give him everything. They're going to be kissing this man's ass at his every beck and call. If Timothy cries, they're going to be there for him. If he sneezes, if he coughs, um, this guy's going to be Chris Jenner's second baby because he means a lot and he's doing a lot to the family brand 
at this point so you know they're just proud of kylie so we're gonna see a lot of kylie and timothy um Chalamet a lot but if you even look at the photo guys you can see that the people in front of timothy and kylie they were somewhat annoyed it seems as though they were talking a lot they were really really chatty chatty and always making out because they had to for the moment that the press was there but you can tell that there was a sense of annoyance as well for the people who were right in front of them. But I want to hear from you guys. What is your take on Timothy Shalabi and Kylie Jenner? I want to hear from you all. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And see you all later. Peace.